In this example, we are going to see the ability to now draw temporary surfaces to represent the rapid move heights over the model. So these rapid move heights show the safe area and the plunge area that we use when calculating toolpaths. So to see these, I'm going to open up the rapid move heights form. And you can see I have my rapid move heights calculated based on a rapid clearance of 7 millimeters and a plunge clearance of 5 millimeters, giving me these two values. So I can now draw two temporary surfaces to reflect where on the model these values are applied. So first of all, I'm going to draw my rapid surface. So if I check this icon, you can now see I have a transparent red surface over the top of the model. So this is going to be positioned 10 millimeters above my block because that is where my rapid move height is calculated from. I can change the transparency of it by moving the slider back and forth like so. I can also draw a temporary surface to see my plunge clearance as well. My plunge height is represented by the transparent blue and again I can move my slider back and forth to change the transparency of it. So the function of this is just to get a better visual representation of my safe heights above the model. So on this example uh, we have just set our safe area to be a plane. Our drawing options reflect this by just drawing two planar surfaces. Once I close the dialog form for rapid move heights, those surfaces are removed. So they are not recorded in any way, they are only viewed when we are in our rapid move heights form. When I go back into the form, you can see them again. Because we have multiple options for a safe area, the drawing options are designed to reflect these also. I can change my safe area type to be a box. Once I recalculate the dimensions, I can now see um, my rapid surface is represented by a transparent red box around the model. I can also choose two additional types. So if I choose a cylinder, calculate it, I can see I get my two surfaces again, the rapid surface and the plunge surface, represented by the red and blue transparent surfaces. If I change this to a sphere, and recalculate, then I get those surfaces again. So no matter what type of safe area you are using, we will now have the ability to draw these safe areas as temporary surfaces as long as we are in our rapid move heights form, giving us a clearer visual representation of how our tool is going to move over the model during machining.